Prince William is winning over public support by breaking a royal tradition, according to a royal expert. Prince William's huge empathy praised by Seward Prince George's Christmas list discussed by royal commentators We use your sign, up to provide content in ways you've consented to and to improve our understanding of you. This may include adverts from us and third parties based on our understanding. You can unsubscribe at any time. More info Prince William has been praised for a rare candid interview in which the Duke detailed his time as an air ambulance pilot. He described feeling like the whole world was dying after attending an accident where a little boy had been hit by a car. The boy was a similar age to William's eldest son, Prince George. Royal expert Ingrid Seward spoke about William's podcast on GB News. Miss Seward said, I am absolutely confident that William is going to make us, God, willing, a wonderful, figurehead king, because that's all he will be, a mere figurehead. He's got huge empathy, and I think even if people aren't interested in the royal family, they will read or listen to this podcast and think this is really nice. He's telling us personal things about his family. He's telling us about Monday mornings. She added, he's telling us how he doesn't like getting out of bed, how his father used to force him to go on cold walks when he didn't want to go, which I'm sure all children remember. It's really warm, he really describes the mental health thing well. He says this disastrous accident that he witnessed and helped with a young boy who is nearly George's age, and how it hit William much later and how he learned to deal with it. I think it's incredibly helpful, I'm really proud of William. Prince William opened up about his mental health for a new series titled, Prince William, Time to Walk for Apple. The series features different celebrities sharing stories and their favorite songs as they go for a stroll. William chose to record his on the Sandringham estate in Norfolk. He took a three-mile walk between St. Mary Magdalene Church and his home at Anne Hall. During his walk, the prince recalled, I felt like the whole world was dying. It's an extraordinary feeling. You just feel everyone's in pain, everyone's suffering. That's not me. I've never felt that before. My personal life and everything was absolutely fine. I was happy at home and happy at work, but I kept looking at myself, going, why am I feeling like this? Why do I feel so sad? And I started to realize that, actually, you're taking home people's trauma, people's sadness, and it's affecting you. But I can't explain why I had that realization what was going on because a lot of people don't have that realization.